All right, guys, so welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to go over should you get the CCNA, should you get the CCMP, which uh, certification should you decide on getting? So these two certifications are the most impactful certifications if you want to get, if you want to become a network engineer. If you guys saw my um, tier list video, I put these two certifications as the most highest leverage um, certification you guys can get if you want to get into a um, network engineering uh, position. And the reason I say that is um, the skills that you learn from, you know, the CCMP and CCNA are going to translate into um, you landing a position, mainly because it's not vendor neutral like a CompTIA Net Plus. So if you guys know, getting, I'm not a fan of vendor neutral certifications, mainly because the value of a vendor neutral certification is just like theory at the end of the day. It's not anything practical and uh, job, you know, hiring managers aren't looking for you to have practical, uh, for, for, they want you to have practical knowledge, but they're not looking for you to have theory knowledge, right? The theory comes from practice. Um, and I believe that if you, the more you practice, the better you get, then you understand the theory behind it, right? And I'd rather, I'd rather just know how to do it versus know how it works. Because if you know how to do it, people are going to pay you for knowing how to do it. People are not going to pay you because you know what it is at the end of the day, right? So that's kind of one big thing. Um, but yeah, should, so should you get, so it really just depends if you want to get the CC and CCMP. Um, I, what I recommend, because back then, so basically when I took the CCNA, I took it back in 2021, right? So that's a, that's a while ago, right? Um, so I actually took the exam back when it was 200, um, dash 105. Um, this is when I was studying for, but then I actually took it with the new exam. Like I think it was 200 dash 301 at that point. Um, but the thing is. Um, you weren't allowed to take the CCMP at that time. You had to ha have at least a CCNA before you're allowed to get into the point where you can take the CCMP, right? So um, I don't recommend if you're brand new into the field to go straight into CCMP, the completely waste of time. Um, not to say it's a waste of time, but it's just, if you don't have the skills, there's no point of going into that field because you're gonna, it's not gonna make sense, right? So I'd highly recommend you start off getting the CCNA, right? So now you may be wondering, I just got my CCNA, right? Should I get my CCMP next, right? I highly don't recommend that. I highly don't recommend that. If soon as you have your CCNA, you need to get experience. Assuming you 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 don't have experience, if you get your CCNA and you have no and you have and you're thinking about getting CCMP, um, and you have no experience, that's that is a critical mistake if you ever make that mistake. Um, and I know some people who you know they they get the CCNA, they're like, okay. Uh, I don't think I'm ready for a job yet. I'm not ready. Um, so they end up getting the CCMP and then they get the CCMP and then they get recertified. And then, and then, and then, and then they're still working like a, a non networking position um, because they think they just have to keep learning and learning and learning and learning to be ready. And guess what? You're always going to be learning at that point. So the CCMP should only be geared towards if you already have experience in the field, right? If you already have experience in the field, by all means, go for it, right? Um, me, myself, um, I'm currently not going for the CCMP and I am going to make a video on why I'm not going for the CCMP as of right now. But in terms of, if you have experience, I highly recommend getting it right because it, it's high value, high leverage. Um, and like I said, it, it is going to secure you, uh, for your future for better positions. Right. So, um, that's what I would recommend. Um, but like I said, look at, look how fat this book is, by the way, <laughs> I'm surprised. I, and, and by the way, it, Back then, there were there used to be two books for for this exam, um, but yeah. Um, overall, I highly recommend you just get the the NA once you get that and actually learn it, and then you get a position. There is no point of getting CCNA then CCMP. That's why a lot of people who ask me, sh should I get the CCMP? What cert should I get next? When someone asks me what cert should I get next, that's a not a good question to ask. You should be asking what skills do I need and before you even get the cert. What is your goal? Because if your goal is just to get a cert, just to get the cert, then by all means, get it, right? If you just want to put on your wall, um, you just want to say that you have a CCM, you know, CCMP, just to say you have it, then by all means, get it, right? Um, but if you actually want results, i.e. landing a position, i.e. learning a, a skill that actually hiring managers are looking for, then I highly don't recommend that. I highly recommend focusing on, on skills that's going to land you a position which is learning how to interview, learning how to speak well, and learning how to get interviews in the first spot, learning how to write good resumes, um, and learning how to network with other individuals, right? Not the technical networking, but learn how to meet people, greet people, and get referrals for positions. Because at the end of the day, that is way more valuable 
for your career success and actually getting any more certifications after your CCNA. And even before the CCNA, I know a lot of my friends, I know a lot of people that I've helped uh, get into networking field, they didn't even have CCNAs, right? I know that may blow some of your guys' minds. That may blow your minds like, wait, I can get into networking without even a cert. Yes, if you have the skills and you know who to talk to and you could do the job, they're going to hire you irregardless of your CCNA or not, right? So between the CCNA and CCMP, um, if you're new in a tech, just go ahead and start setting for the CCNA and then get experience, get a job, start working there for you know a year or even after you know you start working then go ahead and continue on and you know get your CCMB. Um, and then also if you, I would not recommend going for your CCMP right away unless you already have like experience in the field, you've been doing it for a while, you never got your CCNA, but you're like I'll just let me just go for the MP. So you go, totally fine if you do that. So um, that said, I am going to make a video on why I'm not getting CCMP as of yet, um, and I'll make a video on that soon. But that's kind of the differences between the two, and obviously the difference is literally all the difference is the MP covers a lot more concepts. And I'll be honest, one thing about the old version of the CCNA, it did cover a lot more concepts. Like if you if you look at the, the like, there's two books for this, right? Not to say the CCNA got hard that got got easier. But this version was actually much harder. There was BGP in here. There was spanning tree in here. There was HSRP, VRRP. Like there was other protocols, you know, that were obviously they, co they covered like, I believe ISIS and, you know, it, it covers a lot more in this, right? So this is almost like, you know, not, not a CCMP level yet, but almost there, right? Um, so I'll be honest, like when I learned it, I did learn some of the concepts. So I still recommend that um, if you are going to get into this field. And that's kind of why, you know, like I said, it's all your choice. And I don't want to make you, you know, dismay. This is just what, what worked for me. Um, but yeah, that's kind of that's that's kind of what it is right now. Um, but yeah, but if you guys want to just get into this field, if you guys want to actually land a position as a network engineer, um, please send me a DM on Instagram or just like click the link in my description where I, you can book a call with me um, and I can see if I can help you um, based off your skills, um, learn, learn the skill of networking, um, and then also be able to teach you exactly how to land a network engineering job in 2025. So if you guys want to learn more about that, please click the link down in the description. I can help you with that as well. And if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys uh, want to subscribe and see more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button. And then, yeah, if you guys, you know, dislike the video, also give it a dislike. <laughs> uh, but thank you guys so much for your time. It really means a lot. Um, and hopefully this has been informative for you. And uh, yeah, we'll talk soon. Peace.